Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Taylor Nicole. Today is going to be a fun video. I'm going to be talking about tips slash advice for surviving long distance relationships. This has been like highly, highly requested. I get a lot of DMs like every day from girls that are in long distance relationships and just want some advice. I don't know why they ask me. It's not like I know everything, but I'm trying to figure it out along with the rest of you and just figure out what works for us. So I'm going to be sharing some of my experience with that and just tips and stuff on how me and Garrett do it. Today is actually a collaboration with the awesome Lauren LaBeouf. She also loves Jesus and is just awesome and she's adorable and just the sweetest girl ever. And when she first asked me, I was like, yes, but um, I've never done a collaboration before, which you guys that have been here from the start know that I've just never done one. I was like, I don't even know how that works. So basically we picked this topic because she has a history with long distance relationships. I don't think they're long distance anymore, but she just wanted to share her side of things and I'm currently in one. So I wanted to just share kind of what we're going through. I suggest because every long distance relationship is different. I suggest if you watch this video, then you go watch hers after because she's gonna have some different things to say, some different tips. Cause like, again, every relationship is just different so I think it's good to get advice from different people also she's adorable and she does like makeup routines which obviously I do not do so she does all the fun makeup and hair stuff so if you're into that I don't supply that here so if you want to go watch her she does really good videos subscribe to her like her videos comment on her videos follow her on Instagram I'll put her Instagram name right here too yeah she's adorable so thanks Lauren for contacting me to do this okay so the format for this video is uh, none. I don't have any. I didn't really plan ahead of time. I thought I had a time. Me, me, me. I didn't really plan ahead of time because I just kind of wanted to like casually chat with you guys about just my experience and how me and Garrett do things and just tips and all that stuff. Our long distance relationship is because he's in school and he's in school down in Texas. We're actually both from Washington State and he's just there for school. So like the really nice thing is that it's not forever. Again, every relationship is different. Every long distance relationship is different. Some people are in other countries they met each other and they're trying to figure it out long distance and one of you is gonna have to move eventually like luckily me and Garrett don't have to deal with that we both are from the same place he's just there for school it's a lot easier to know it's not forever so if you're already in a different scenario like you just kind of have to like take what you can learn from different people and just figure it out for your own relationship is just my preface of this video my point is it's gonna look very different for you guys but we're very fortunate to be from the same place so I know that he's gonna be coming back here when he's done the school which is really nice the tickets to go visit each other are not that expensive so I've had someone ask me a question before like how do you you guys decide who goes to visit who like who pays for the tickets or who goes when and um, again every relationship is different in our relationship I am the only one that travels because he can't because he plays baseball so he obviously can't leave I always go down to Texas and the way I pay for it because I know a lot of people want to know how to pay for it and how to afford it I house sit, dog sit babysit sit on everything that's how I make the money for this when he left then I knew I was gonna have to start paying for tickets and I was like honestly a little bit stressed at first obviously our relationship is important to me so I was gonna figure it out I didn't want to dip into like my budget and what I was already making because I already budget for so many different things in my life and I didn't want this to like greatly affect that the tickets aren't like crazy expensive but it's still a good chunk of money so I wanted to figure out a different way to make money for that separately so I don't really love house sitting because I just love my bed my bed is the most comfortable thing in the world but it's worth it so the house sitting money is all the money that I used to pay for tickets so it's kind of like my free-for-all money I don't budget with it it's just my ticket money so I would just suggest like any freelance work or any like odd jobs you can do if you need to like clean windows for someone if you need to clean their house babysit dog sit house sit do gardening like there's always little odd jobs and stuff like that that you can do to help save some money for it so you're not like stressing yourself out to like figure it out in your budget it's just like extra money on top of that so that's what I did we've also gotten help from his mom one time and also my birthday present one of the tickets actually when you're watching this video I am on my way. I'm on my way down to Texas right now and that's actually a ticket that my parents paid for for my birthday so that was really nice of them. To go into long distance I was really nervous to go into it in the beginning and I'm not going to spend too much time on this topic exactly but this is like something that I was really concerned about because last time I was in a long distance relationship my ex cheated on me but granted like there was already so many red flags I should have known but I was just young and dumb a little bit. However that was my greatest fear to go into another long distance relationship again. You kind of just need to have the right character and some 
someone anyway and if you don't have trust with someone already and you live in the same city and you hang out together and you know you're gonna be long distance like it's only gonna be magnified and it's only gonna be worse so like I already trusted Garrett so I wasn't really concerned about him going I wasn't concerned about his character I trusted him but my past just kind of made it really hard for me you have to be with someone that can understand your past if you've been through something like that and he was super understanding and like just really reassured me and stuff like didn't take it personally because it had nothing to do with him it's just from my past experience and so that really helped to reassure me you know like a lot of communication they're not the same people like it's just different relationships so the point is like I wouldn't say it's abnormal to like be a little bit uncomfortable with it it's really hard because people just say a lot of crap that they shouldn't say I have people that don't know me at all they don't know the past that I've been through and they say stupid stuff like this just wait just okay if you say this to someone in a long distance relationship like you were just the worst kind of person I don't know why people do this it already is uncomfortable to be away from the person you love and I don't even have those kind of thoughts about our relationship itself because I trust Garrett completely which again like long distance it's so important in any relationship anyway you need communication and trust but especially long distance because you're not with them you don't really know what they're doing all day you really have to just trust them and know their character well enough to know they're not going to do anything for example I've had people that literally don't know my life they hear that I'm in a long distance relationship and they're like oh you don't think he's cheating on you and I'm like no like why would I be in a relationship with someone if I feel like they're cheating on me but the thing is in the past people used to say that to me all the time and it blew my mind like I was like why would you say something like that to someone when it's already a hard situation to be in but luckily I had a really good head on my shoulders back then too and I had a good response and my response was well no I wouldn't be dating someone if that's what I thought they would do I said but if it were to happen I'm 100% positive that everything always comes to the light I know I'll find out and I'll deal with that eventually it never caused me to be anxious while I was away I was never anxious about it because I was like you know I trust myself and I know that I'm making good decisions I can't make decisions for someone else so it never like affected me on a daily basis basis if you know what I mean so I think it's really just important to have that head on your shoulders just to be like no I trust this person that's why I'm dating them and you know worst case scenario if you found out that that was true then you just deal with the situation when it comes but there's no point in worrying about something unless you know it's a fact that's my point is like I don't ever worry about that with Garrett because for one I trust him I wouldn't be in a relationship with him if I didn't but it's like you don't need to worry about something that's not happening don't be like that to people that are in a long distance relationship because you already miss that person it's already hard to be away from them and you don't need people saying negative things like that because then it puts negative thoughts in your head when they weren't there before. It causes you to think negative thoughts. So you just cannot like let that get into your head. You have to be confident in the relationship that you're in. Basically the point is you just need to trust the person. If you don't, then that's a problem with your relationship. And honestly, if you don't trust the person, it's probably not gonna work out and it's not gonna go very far. From there, I'm gonna talk about some tips about how we communicate and talk when we have busy lives and stuff like that. Luckily, we're in the same country. We're not in the same state, obviously, but we're in the same country. So we have fairly similar time zones. So I know it's a lot harder for people that are international. Some of you like go to sleep at the same time that your person wakes up and it's really, really hard to talk and I feel for you like I'm really sorry that sounds really rough but like you just have to talk as much as you can snapchat and facetime are like the savior to me and Garrett's relationship so the way that we communicate and try to keep in touch with each other throughout the day which I've talked about this in our Q&A video and stuff and if you haven't checked that out either you can go watch our Q&A we talk a little bit about our relationship there are certain things that we do every single day that like help us feel like we're in a normal life relationship that's not like states away from each other every morning like we always text each other when we wake up we don't always wake up at the same time we actually usually don't wake up at the same time i wake up kind of early but he's two hours ahead so sometimes he wakes up and goes to school before i even wake up so like he'll always text me or i'll text him if i wake up earlier just say good morning whatever like let them know what you're doing that day and then snapchat is another really good thing obviously i like to make videos i hate texting i just hate sitting there and, t and typing things out very often every day actually like if i'm on my way to work or on my way to whatever like I'll, I'll take out my phone and snapchat him what I'm doing that day it's usually like 20 different snapchats explaining what I'm doing but like then he knows like what I'm doing that day and he feels like he's involved and vice versa like I look forward to snapchats every single day we do that every single day and so he'll snapchat me about his day tell me about practice tell me about school tell me about whatever and like I get to watch his face and like feel like I'm with him even though we're not of course but same with FaceTime like we don't FaceTime every day but we really try to FaceTime every single night if we can at least five minutes two minutes one minute whatever like sometimes we just FaceTime to say goodnight because like for that two minutes that you get to interact face to face 
like you feel like you're together and I have noticed that the days that we don't FaceTime I like miss him way more because I feel like I haven't talked to him all day even if I've texted him it's just different if you have access to FaceTime or Skype or whatever if you don't have FaceTime on your phone then like I would really like really recommend that because I think you feel a lot closer to someone when you can see their face some things that I like to focus on when I am sad which we like rarely have sad sad days because we always know the next time that we're looking forward to seeing each other is so that kind of helps us get past those days that are really hard because we're like okay it's only 14 more days until we get to see each other or 25 more days until we get to see each other it just helps to look forward to the next time that you're gonna get to see each other and also we're both really busy people so I don't think you should be overly busy that you don't have time to ever talk to each other ever if your relationship is the only thing that's important to you in your life I don't think that that's necessarily healthy so we luckily both have like really big priorities outside of each other like I'm still starting the business I work on YouTube I have two other jobs and he plays baseball he's in school full-time and he has a bunch of other things to do he has homework and all that stuff so basically like if we're missing each other if I'm at work and can't talk to him he's either at baseball or he's doing homework or something like that or vice versa like you're not just sitting there waiting for the person to text you back or waiting for them to like have time to talk to you and like when I get sad I try to focus on things that I enjoy and things that I know will make me happy you just kind of have to have your own hobbies and things that you enjoy and also like your own friends if you don't have any friends outside of your relationship I think that that's also a problem so it's really important to either have your family close to you or some kind of friend close to you that you can hang out with when you get lonely or sad or whatever and just miss your person it is really hard like there's some nights where we fight more than others and we definitely argue more when we're away from each other than when we are with each other I think a really hard part about long distance relationships is like when you're in person and you're mad at someone I just think that you can kind of you just give him a big hug and you get over it and it's not possible to do that in a long distance relationship you don't get to hug each other and you barely get to talk sometimes so when there's a problem like you're forced to communicate about the problem or else you're just gonna be mad texting each other or facetiming or whatever like you can't just get over it as easy big big benefit to being in a long distance relationship is that your communication gets so much better like you literally talk about everything there's no such thing as an awkward conversation or a too serious of a conversation because you talk about everything and and you have to be really, really honest with how you feel about something, especially long distance, because all of these things are honestly important in, in normal relationships also. But long distance, especially because that's really all you have to hold on to is your communication. So that needs to be like the biggest thing to you and trust, of course. There has to be a point where you just choose to trust the person. And if any doubts like fill your head, then you, you just have to like shove them out because that's not helpful. Unless you really think there is something fishy going on, then I think sometimes it's good to listen to that wisdom. People got negative things to say, let me just tell you, and they don't even know you. Like people don't even know you and they say stuff like that to you and it just blows my mind. You have to be confident in your own relationship. It is your relationship, you too, not other people's. So don't let other people's opinions get in the way. Also, the last thing I was gonna say, which I had mentioned in our Q&A as well, was just not to be easily offended because me and Garrett were really bad about this in the beginning but we obviously got better as the relationship went on in the beginning like I think it's super easy to read things wrong over text and you cannot tell the tone of someone's voice or how they're saying something and I would say something super lighthearted or you like cannot read sarcasm over text or anything and Garrett would get offended like he would think that I was being mean to him or vice versa I would get offended and I'd be like Ugh how could you say that? And he was like, I was just kidding. I was like, no, you weren't. Like I saw what you said, but it's like the tone of voice you cannot read through text. So you just have to give benefit of the doubt and assume the best. Like you have to assume the best when you're in a relationship with someone and love them. Like they're obviously not trying to make you feel like crap. If they are, then they're a terrible boyfriend or girlfriend, but they're usually not trying to make you feel like crap and they're not trying to like make you mad. They're not making fun of you. Like it's usually just you reading something wrong over text or not understanding their tone of voice. So that happens pretty often. And long distance relationships I would say from experience so you just have to choose not to be easily offended and if they say something that seems like they're being rude they're probably not hopefully this video is helpful to you again reminder re Minder, go check out Lauren's video, which I'm actually super curious to see what Lauren had to say because every relationship is different and maybe I can learn some tips from her. If you guys have any specific questions about long distance relationships, you can post them below. I try to comment back to every comment. I pretty much comment back to like 90% of them unless there's too many of them that I can't. Or you can follow me on Instagram at Taylor Christensen and DM me any questions. I have girls do that all the time. They'll ask me for advice about long distance, which not that I'm a professional, but like I'm in it too and trying to figure it out. Yeah, hopefully this video was some kind of insight for you and thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!